yes, I am a digital citizen. I'm also a mother. I'm Australian, I'm a Latina, and I'm a serial entrepreneur, and I'm passionate about the way technology is connecting us to each other. My inspiration for this project that brought me back to Geneva on this trip was actually part of how I founded my idea about democratizing safety for everyone. Now, when you've been to 55 countries much like I have, you'll find that not every place you go is safe. And respectful to all the gentlemen in the room, women travel differently than men. We have different vulnerabilities than men, and we'll also ask for directions. That was meant to be funny. <laughs> Um, back to my story about Geneva, I was here on a digital transformation project working at Geneva Airport and I booked my hotel online much like many of us do and uh, booked into some place close to the train station so that I could come and go every day to Geneva Airport with low cost. And I got up the very first morning after being 36 hours traveling from Australia and got into the elevator in my hotel at the corner of in, uh, near there and uh, a man was in the elevator with me and with a very thick accent and inebriated breath propositioned me and groped me in the elevator. And I was mortified because nothing like this had ever happened to me before. And I got out of the elevator and I ran into the street and I looked around and realized that my hotel was in the middle of the red light district. But I didn't know that because the information on the internet did not inform me as a female traveler that where I was staying was unsafe. At that moment, I decided that, whoa, 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 wait a minute, we needed to change this, and I set about to do this. The following year, I was in Africa, and I had the pleasure of attending a, a leadership conference that took us into the Makulu slums in Nairobi, Kenya. And I remember being at Brother Bosang's school and looking at young ladies whose heads were shaved, and they were dressed like boys so they could walk to school to get an education. And when I saw it and I spoke to these two ladies teaching martial arts at the school in, in the slums in Kenya, I promised them that I would come back with a solution that these young ladies could proudly be themselves and go to school safe and unharmed. It has taken me three years and a lot of sacrifices and collaborations with very smart people to be able to create a solution that empowers people to go anywhere. The solution that we've developed is something that is integrating both technology and Internet of Things it has means for which to bring data from all the parts of the world together and empower you and I to help each other in safety. In December, I happened to be invited to a leadership workshop at Richard Branson's home on Necker Island. And I'm a little girl from the suburbs in Virginia and this was a very big deal for me. But I had the honor of working with 26 social impact entrepreneurs including NFL Hall of Famer Ray Lewis, who said to me when he heard about my project, I wanna work with you and I want you to be a part of our movement to reduce trafficking, human trafficking, and violence against women around the world. And just in the last week and a half, we've put together an international organization called SWAT that's working and bringing sports celebrities, universities, and our technology to enable young women and children around the world to understand the risks of human trafficking and how to avoid it with information, environmental awareness, and equipment. And um, when I explained to my mom why I quit my consulting job, consulting to big companies like Club Med, to take a social impact position, to changing the lives of people and helping people travel safe. My mom was very humbled. She's a pastor. And she said, that's great, Steph. God bless you. And I said, no, mom, we're not, getting, we're not saving the world with blessings. We're saving the world with action. And the action that we bring forward, I said to my mother, you know, if I do anything right, if I'm a good example to my son, who's 13, God bless him, I hope he's watching on Facebook, um, is, is that initiative of being a symbol of hope and living a legacy. And recently I was reading a, a story of a, a very famous investment person whose name I will not drop because he's too famous already. But he said, you leave your life not by what you, the wealth you create, by the legacy for which you leave. And for me, that legacy is about being a beacon of hope, a symbol, a shining light. And that's exactly what we've created to change the world, an application that allows you to log where you go, log where you are, 
and have equipment to help disarm and illuminate a situation. So I encourage you to go on my journey with me. Join our movement of a billion lives by 2025. Download the WanderSafe app and see us here next year with some case studies of how we are working with various entities of the UN and partnerships we made here this week to change and enable people to go anywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you.